In the early hours of Friday, the 16th of October, 1987, a fierce storm swept across southern Britain, leaving a trail of havoc in its wake. Winds of almost 100 miles per hour uprooted thousands of trees, causing chaos. Roads were blocked, buildings damaged, cars crushed, and power supplies and telephone lines disrupted. Bromley was one of the worst hit areas around London. A week after the storm, some roads were still blocked, although most had been reopened by the following day. The National Trust land at Pets Wood was one of the worst affected areas, and it may take years to clear the devastated woodland. Councillor Barkway, Bromley Council's leader, flew over the area in a helicopter to assess the damage. I think uh, coming and looking at the uh, problem from the air gives you a much better impression of the devastation that's been caused by this hurricane. And uh, there are some parts of the borough where the wind has uh, cut like a scythe through vast tracts of woodland and where all the trees are destroyed. Uh, it's really very sad to see it all laying flat in many places and it's going to take a long time to restore it all. Scenes like this were common across the borough. Everyone will remember the damaged buildings, mangled cars, and everywhere trees uprooted, snapped off, twisted, with broken branches littering the whole borough. Power supplies were disrupted, and a week after the storm, power was still off in some areas. A cleaning up operation would take months. 300 council workmen and contractors labored continuously, soaring through tree after tree, clearing roads and removing trees which had fallen onto houses. Many buildings were damaged, with holes in roofs, blown in windows, broken fences and walls, and devastated gardens. Most people in the borough were affected by the storm in some way. Repairs will be costly, and they will take a long time to finish. The Biggin Hill Youth Club was one of the worst hit buildings. Three trees fell through the roof. Just along the road at Keston, a crane had to be brought in to lift an oak tree away from Westerham Road. The storm had left the 80-year-old tree leaning dangerously above the busy road. After it had been sawn and carefully lifted back into the woods, the traffic flow was allowed to continue. Fortunately, there was no loss of life, although the people living here had a lucky escape when two massive lime trees fell beside their house. In Orpington, a whole avenue of huge beech trees was devastated. The cars did not fare too well either, and it would take a long time to get the front gardens back into shape. All the cars and vans were crushed by falling trees. Many pavements were impassable where the tree roots had ripped up tarmac and curbstones. Nearly 12,000 of Bromley Street trees were uprooted or damaged beyond repair. Residents and council alike face a massive repair bill. In just one night, in the towns and the countryside, a centuries-old landscape was destroyed. This one October storm caused more devastation to all our trees than the whole decade of Dutch elm disease. Councillor Barkway. I have to say that it will probably be from the best estimates I've got sometime after Christmas before we get rid of just the debris alone. 
And then uh, we come on to the question of reconstruction. Uh, we're starting a campaign to get the public interested in uh, planting trees and having a restoration fund. And we shall be trying to bring all the residents' organisations together in the spring to show them the results of uh, the damage which has been done and also talk to them about how they can help us as a community to rebuild this treasured woodland for future generations.